Hello everyone, in this video I am going to tell you how to use a react date picker and also I am going to explain all of this default attributes ok if you click clear date picker will get clear by using this react date picker npm package ok yeah let's start here first you need to install that and in my case I already installed ok so now I am going to copy the importation here you know I just copy this then only we can able to access the react date picker and we need to import this class then only you will get a react date picker style ok and I am going to use the same state and here they already setting the current date ok so current date will get highlighted then and this is the react date picker ok I will save this yeah it is showing use state error so we need to import this yeah it is imported here and I am going to save this and going to browser the look are all same right but we don't have that cross icon and those are all things I am going to explain that so I am just just split like this and I am going to use these are all attributes you know if you want a placeholder means you just add a placeholder like this and you can give we date picker and save this if I refresh the screen and I am going to remove this first then only I will see the empty place here you see placeholder is showing right so if I add this clear and save this and if I refresh the screen right now it is not showing that clear because there is nothing we didn't choose anything you know now it is showing right so if I clear the date is cleared now we added a clear icon and now I am going to tell you how to use a minimum date and maximum date you know here I can able to choose a all year date ok so here I can choose a June month date everything so I want to start from this month ok or uh, today ok I can allow the user to choose only date from today so I need to add a I mean we need to use min, min date so if I refresh the screen and see the previous date are all getting blurred you know so I just add a style tag margin and left it's 100 pixel or a 10 rem yeah this is fine just add a margin yep now this is good so see this right arrow is showing because we are not giving any max date and left arrow is yeah now it's disabled you know see this and also we can able to give a max date also like this yeah now I gave a max date I'm going to browser and I'm going to check whether it is disabled or not yeah it is disabled but if I give 9 it is disabled after 10 see this I can able to choose the 10th month also if I give 8 and if I refresh the screen and yeah it is disabled from this month I mean next month onwards yep and also we can pass a format we can use this format and paste that and go here and it will accept this format see right now dash is added previously it was like I think both are same I think so yeah both are same I think yeah year month and date sorry year month and date see yeah year month and date now it is showing you can modify it is like month month day and here also yeah see this this format is now modified and also if you want entire date and you just comment this line I mean I'm going to comment this and now I added see this you can able to see the time also you know? and last attribute is if you want to disable this state picker means you just add a disabled keyword and if I refresh the screen even I can able to choose this ok these are all the predefined attribute we can use in the react date picker yeah 
this is what i try to tell in this video i think this video will help you bye bye